everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my April favorites. Wow, that was loud. It's like, I'm serious about these favorites, clearly. As usual, you can find the links to all of my favorites and everything I talk about in this video on my blog, which will be linked in the down bar below. And of course, feel free to leave me your favorites in the comments below. I would love to hear what they are. And please hit subscribe. The button is right down below. It really means a lot. And I think that's everything. So let's just get into the video. So my first two beauty favorites are a lip liner and a liquid lipstick, and this is what I've been using together to create this really pretty mauve pinkish neutral color, if that makes sense. Um, I can insert some pictures to cut away so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. I'm not wearing it today because I've literally been wearing this combo every single day this month. It's kind of a problem, but it's just so pretty and easy, and it makes your lips, for some reason, look a lot more plump. Um, the lip liner is from NYX. It is in the color Peekaboo Neutral. And I, like I said, just this really pretty mauve neutral color. And then this is from ColourPop, but I've used it so much that I've rubbed off the color name completely. It is a mini. I got it as a gift during Christmas and just never used it. It came in a set, so I will link down below the name of it and what it is I'm going to find out on their website. But I love ColourPop and I love the formula. It does not move. It stays on all day, which is fabulous for me. I don't like to spend a ton of money on lip liners because, to be honest, like, most of them all kind of do the same thing, and some of you probably disagree, but you can find really quality lip liners for half the price of like MAC ones or NARS, um, which are obviously really high quality and nice, but why spend the money if you can find something just as good? So NYX and then the Essence brand lip liners are my favorite, and the Essence ones are $2, and these ones are like 4 or 5 so super affordable, and so is the liquid lipstick. They're usually between 5 and $10, depending on what formula you get, but I'm obsessed with both, and I think you should get them. <laughs> and then my next beauty favorites are actually some eyeshadows from Makeup Forever. I have a few of these um, single shadows, and I'll list the numbers below. They don't have actual names, they're all numbered, and they have a ton. If you've ever been in Sephora, you probably get really distracted by the display. But it's such a good value to get them in the sets because not only do you get a case for the individual pans, but they're usually, I believe, $21 for just a single pan, which is a little pricey. But if you get three, I'm pretty sure, and I'm gonna link it all below, um, that it's $44 for the case and for three. So you're getting basically two for the price of one and a free case, so it's such a good value, and they're so high quality. I'm wearing um, some of this green one and some of this brownish taupey one in my crease today, if you wanna check it out. Um, but they're blendable, they're creamy, they're very high pigmented, so super high quality, and it's just such a good deal to get them in the little set. So highly recommend it, it's what I've been reaching for all month long. So I have two fashion favorites this month. The first one I guess would fall into the fashion category, and it's this cute sparkly little um, card holder from Kate Spade. And I've been using a lot of crossbody bags on my days off. When I go to work I take pretty big totes with me just because I have my planner and just a lot of stuff with me. But on my days off I don't want anything bulky so I had a lot of smaller purses so I can't really fit my giant wallets that I like to use in there. So I've been using this as an alternative and I love it. Not only is it super easy and convenient, but it actually holds quite a bit. I have cash in there, I have one of my credit cards, I have one of, oh my god, I have a problem. <laughs> I have my debit card and I have my license, so it fits everything that I need and it's really convenient, really easy to carry, and it's really cute. I don't know if they have this exact one, I got it a while ago, but they have tons of similar options on Kate Spade, Henry Bendel has stuff like this, but it's just been something I've been using all month long. My second fashion favorite is this jean jacket I got from H&M. I'll put it on. I'll model it for you. No problem. No problem. Um, but I'm super excited. I've wanted a jean jacket for a while, but it was one of those things where I was like, it's always going to be around. I can always find one, which is true, but this one's actually like very comfortable, really cute. It's a good length. It's not too short, but it's not too long, and I like that it's kind of like light wash, but it has like some darker shades in it as well. And it's just kind of what I've been looking for for a while, and it's obviously springtime, perfect time to bring in a denim jacket. It's super in style right now, and it's just really comfy, and I love it, because I have a lot of jackets that are very structured, and I wanted something that was a little bit more casual for when I'm not trying to look super fancy, so I love it. Ooh. I have one hair care favorite this month, and it is from the Big Sexy Hair brand. Um, and it is a Root Pump Plus, and so I got my hair cut, like I said in a previous video, and obviously I'm loving it, it's so much more manageable, so now that it's shorter and it's a lot less heavy and um, easier to work with, I honestly, when it's wet, I just 
pump some of this into my hand and then I put it in my roots and it just makes my hair very voluminous, gives lots of volume so for the days where I'm not washing it, it still has a lot of life to it and it's not as flat and gross so that's nice but I love everything from this brand it's all pretty high quality and really not super expensive so um, Ulta usually has a ton of deals I went to Ulta when I got this like a few months ago and it was buy one get one half off for all of these products so they do stuff like that a lot so it's a good place to get it but it's nice because a lot of products like this um, that are a mousse can be really greasy and or they just make your hair so hard that it's just disgusting um, but this one's very lightweight so I highly recommend it all right so for skincare I've been very dry this month and it's probably because I ran out of my moisturizer I was using for almost six months it's um, Global Peace by Ren, something like that, but I really like it and it's very moisturizing, very nourishing, and it works really well. I have very dry skin, so I did like it a lot, but I try to mix it up. Um, unless I find something that's like I'm just obsessed with, then I will get it again, and I'll probably will purchase that one again, but um, I wasn't in a huge hurry to get it again just because I like to try new products. Um, but my skin did not appreciate me waiting because it got super dry, so while I was trying to figure out which one I wanted to get, I just have been super busy this month and I just never made it to Sephora. I found this in my cabinet, my skincare cabinet, and it's from Pons and it's just a nourishing moisturizing cream. It says for dry to very dry skin and Pons is super inexpensive. I've used their makeup wipes before, I did like them, so I just grabbed it because I needed something and I was so pleasantly surprised. I hadn't used it in forever, but it comes with quite a bit and this is just like I think a small sample size too, but I have had it forever and I still have quite a bit of product in there, but it is so thick and nourishing and that might not sound super appealing, but for someone like me who has the driest skin of all time, I loved it. Honestly, I put it on one night and the next day all of the dry spots and redness in my face was completely gone. So if you want something that's inexpensive, this is a great alternative. I'm obsessed with it and I definitely will be picking up a full size. My second skincare favorite is also a moisturizer from Clinique. It is the Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. Um, so like I said, I was on the hunt using this one in the meanwhile, but I did end up ordering this one because I've heard so many great things and it is fantastic. It's extremely nourishing. A little bit less thick than this one, so if you're not into something super thick on your skin, this is probably a better option for you. And depending on which size, they're actually pretty affordable. I got this medium size too because I just wanted to try it in case I didn't like it. I didn't want to commit to a full size, but I definitely will be purchasing it. Um, it's nice because it doesn't leave your skin feeling greasy. Like It really absorbs the skin very quickly actually, so I can put this on right before I do my makeup and my skin feels dewy and soft and it just goes on so much smoother. So I recommend this one as well, especially if you already love Clinique skincare products. It's a great addition to your collection. My final favorite is not really a book, I guess. I mean, it is, but it's not for reading. And it's this adult coloring book from Vogue. Um, I saw this on a website, like I just saw it on Facebook, like a link to it, and wrote an article about it. And just, it's just so cool. And I love coloring. I am super pumped that it's a thing right now. It's socially acceptable for adults because I love it. I find it very relaxing. I like to do it when I'm on planes. I like to do it when I'm at home, when I'm bored. If I'm watching TV, I'll do it while I'm doing that. So it's just something fun. It's like very lighthearted activity if you just want to relax. Um, so plus I thought this was so cool just to have like my room. Um, so if you open it, it has a ton of like cool vintage inspired pictures. I haven't done a ton of coloring in it yet. I won't show you the one I did because it's not finished yet. Um, but it has a ton of really beautiful images that you can color in. Super fun. And it's also like very vintage and old school. I love that it's all like high fashion, but it's from different decades. So really fun, very interesting, and it's only $12. I got it on Amazon. I also ordered a bunch of coloring pencils. So I've been having the time of my life pretending to be five years old again. Okay, that's everything that I have for you for my April favorites. Not a ton of stuff this month, but um, I haven't done a ton of shopping, so that's probably why. Um, thank you all so much for watching my video. I really appreciate it. Like I said before, please hit subscribe and also like this video if you liked any of the products that I mentioned. As I said before, everything will be linked on my website, which is down below. It's www.shesmilesallday.com, and we should absolutely be friends, so go ahead and follow me on Instagram at shesmilesblog. That's everything that I have for you. I hope you guys all have a fabulous week, and I will see you next time. Bye.